welcome back to my channel. So I am doing yet another Indian makeup look. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like an Indian wedding look but um, I just felt like this look was so glam that I had to throw on some Indian jewellery with it and it was very very appropriate. I finally done a rose gold makeup look. Who remembers my vlog from like a few weeks ago where I was meant to do it and then I did like a, a grunge makeup. But yeah I finally done the rose gold eye makeup and I've given you an option of two lips or two lip options in this video so we've got a nude lip option and then something a bit more bold and darker and I feel like something a bit more appropriate for like these colder autumn winter months coming up so if you are going to a wedding um, around October November then maybe a look like this is going to be perfect. I actually really really love this eye makeup it's just such a classic look that I feel would go with a lot of like outfits, um, a lot of occasions and it's wearable for someone if you are a guest, if you're going clubbing, if you are the bride yourself, like rose gold you just can't go wrong with it, it's just got that touch of class to it and it's it's beautiful. So yeah enough about this look, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and so that I know if you want to see more Indian looks, I absolutely love creating like Indian wedding looks whether it's bridal, guest, la la la, like anything like that I love doing it so if you've got any suggestions then leave them down below for me. Also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my videos and in the meantime keep up with me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter everything will be down below for you. So yeah, for now, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. First things first, I'm taking my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer and this is in the shade SX09. It's a bit more of a pinky undertoned um, concealer and I'm just taking this underneath my eyes to correct them before I start my eye makeup. The reason I've done this is because I kind of just, you know when you're doing your eye makeup and you've got dark circles, you can't really see what the end result might look like and yeah, so I needed to brighten the under eyes to kind of get a full idea and picture of what the eyes will look like. And then I've also taken my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just on my uh, lids of the eyes and blending that out and that's going to act as a base for our eyeshadows. I'm just going to set that concealer in place with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just to ensure that the concealer doesn't crease on the lids and it also will help the eyeshadows blend smoothly. I'm then using my Jaclyn Hill um, and Morphe palette and I'm taking this really nice warm toned brown eyeshadow. It's like a really light warm tone brown but you can totally build this up and this is going to be our transitional color and as you can see I'm building this up through the crease and then I'm taking it up quite high and I'm also blending this along the lower lash line and yeah I really like like the warmth in this tone then I'm moving on to the shade just below that and it's a bit more of a ready brown tone and I'm just going further into the crease now so I'm not going to blend this shade as high up but I'm starting off by working it just on the outer corner of the eye and right into the crease and then I'll blend it further. As you can see I'm just building this shade up in small amounts and then I'm also just running that along the lower lash line so I'm just duplicating anything I do on the top on the bottom lash line also. I'm just making sure I've got that built up and blended out. Then I'm going slightly deeper with this burgundy tone and I'm just working this on the outer corner so we're really like deepening and darkening this up in the outer corner and through the crease. You really want to make sure that you've got a really nice deep and dark crease so I like to really wedge my brush into the crease and take it back and forth in windscreen wiper motions and then you get most of the colour payoff there. Then I'm taking this kind of new product, it's from the um, Dose of Colours Mint collection and this is like a two in one product so it's got a creamy, um, creamy product so it's like a creamy rose gold base which I'm just applying onto the lid and then there's a rose gold pigment underneath it also which is beautiful and it's got like little uh, flecks of pink glitter in it as well so I've just patted that onto the eyes and then I'm just taking the shade that we use on the outer corner and um, just back into that rose gold pigment so that there's like a nice blend and transition and then for liner I've got the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm just creating a winged liner with this. This liner isn't uh, a matte finish but that's okay because we've used a glitter so I don't mind using something that's a little bit shiny when there's like a glittery pigment. 
And then for the face, I've got my Fenty Beauty Pro Soft Matte Filter. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it's the primer. And I am just rubbing this into my skin and applying this all over. And then I'm going in with the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX11. And this one is more accurate to my actual skin tone. And I'm just going in and concealing and covering up any um, pigmentation, any like dark spots or anything like that. Um, yeah, I'm just covering those bad bits up with this. And then for foundation, I've got my Fenty Beauty foundation and I'm using the shade 310 here. Clarify 310 people. Um, I have done a full in-depth review uh, with this foundation, so I will link it for you now. But yeah, I'm just blending this in with a damp beauty blender sponge, but I must say I do prefer using it with a brush. So I went in with a brush just after that to give myself a little bit more coverage. And then for concealer, I've got my L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the shade 6.5, which I am just applying everywhere where I normally would highlight around the face. So just underneath the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, uh, my cupid's bow chin, forehead. And then I'm also just gonna run, oh wait, I need to let the, kit, the clip catch up with me. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna run the uh, Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer just over the top of that because I felt like I needed to brighten it up slightly. And I found the True Match quite a runny consistency and not as pigmented as I wanted. So I wanted to go in with the Maybelline one to um, add a bit more like thick to the concealer if that makes sense make it a bit more thicker and creamier for more coverage so that's what I did and then yeah I blended that all out using the same sponge and then I'm setting everything into place with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this stuff is just amazing I don't know how I'll ever replace it so yeah I'm just taking this underneath the eyes uh, down the bridge of my nose my forehead um, and yeah basically anywhere where I've already highlighted I just want to set that in place and then I'm just blending out that lower lash line so we don't lose that smokiness um, and then I'm just dusting away any excess powder because I don't like the powder sitting on my skin for too long Moving on, I'm going in with my Buxom Cosmetics uh, Maldives Bronzer and this is just so beautiful. It's really nice and deep and it's like a warm ready tone but still brown. I really, really like this. I'm just applying this onto my cheeks and on my temples. And then for contour, I'm going in with my Makeup Geek Contour uh, powder in the shade half hearted and this is just going in the hollows of my cheeks and I'm just building this up right there and I'm also going to take it along my temples and down the sides of my nose when I contour I like to just take it again in small amounts um, I'm not someone that likes to go really heavy with my makeup straight away I like to build it up and that way you have more control over what's on your face and it's much easier to blend out that way also so yeah contouring my nose now so I'm just taking it down the sides and at the tip and then I like to create like a little ball at the end so I just do a little line um, and then for highlighter I'm using the new Nikki tutorials and uh, this is the collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics yeah I was amazed I was like oh my god damn I put on a lot as well <laughs> I was like oh I need to blend this out but yeah this is beautiful I'm gonna leave shades and names of everything down below I've used a lot of products that I haven't used before um, so yeah I was just trying them out and I absolutely loved them and then I'm going in with another product from the Dose of Colours. I think it was the Mint collection. And this is Blush Like You Mint It from that collection. And it's a really lovely um, peachy pinky tone, which I'm just applying on the apples of my cheeks and brushing it back towards that contour. And then for mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And this is just one of my old favourites. And then for the inner waterline, I'm going in with Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Liner in the shade Espresso, which is just a really nice deep brown tone I think I preferred brown on the inner waterline rather than black it just is a little bit softer and then I'm just taking that highlighter that I applied on my face just on the inner corners of the eyes to help pull the eye look together and then for lashes I've got Melia lashes in the style Sphinx these are one of my absolute favorites they're so comfortable to wear and they're absolutely beautiful I'm just applying these really close to my lash line and then tucking in the corners and then for the lips, I've got a dark option and this is MAC Night Moth Lip Pencil and then I went in with Savage by Dose of Colours and it's from the Desi and Katie collaboration. I don't know where the clip went of me applying it, but this is what it looks like. Or you can opt for a nude. So 
this yeah it was a little bit tricky so I first went in with well lip liner which I lined my lips with and then I applied the dose of colors um, there was like a peachy nude um, liquid lipstick from the range again I'll leave the name of it down below so I applied this all over and I just found that it was yeah way too light girl we needed to sort this stuff out so I've got my Fenty Beauty lip gloss and I just applied that all over to add a little bit more warmth and depth because it's a bit of a deeper tone and then I I went in with cork lip liner by MAC which is a really nice soft brown and that really helped like pulled the look and the lips together so this is what the nude looked like but you guys can take your pick of your favorites this is the finished look guys I really hope you like it give it a big thumbs up if you did comment down below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching bye